Hello my dear students and welcome to grammar classes and today we will be doing chapter 7 pronouns which means a word which is used in place of a noun and today we will be doing the fourth part of this chapter and it is the last part. So we will be learning first about indefinite pronouns. What is indefinite pronoun? It refers to something that is not definite which is very clear from the heading itself. Indefinite pronoun, okay? Something that is not definite or specific. So, uh, which are the words which we can use for indefinite pronoun? They are all, few, many, any, anyone, anybody, anything, each, everybody and so on. Okay, so what are indefinite pronoun which we are not specific about? Indefinite pronouns can also be used as indefinite adjectives. Okay, it can be used as a pronoun as well as an adjective would you like some rice now here rice is noun and it is described by this indefinite word some and since it is describing the noun rice we call it as adjective yes can i have some please so here it is acting as a pronoun each child again see here each is describing the word child which is a noun got a chocolate so that is adjective each is a beautiful miniature. So, we call it as pronoun. Now, let's do exercise 8. Filling the blanks with indefinite pronouns. Okay, pronouns. All who want to attend the concert must buy a ticket. I can't give you the book. I gave it to someone just a while ago. Even you can write somebody just a while ago. You can write anyone. Do you have a spare pen? I don't have any. Does anyone want ice cream? Even you can say, does anybody want ice cream? Anyone can participate. We didn't find anything interesting. Everyone brought a dish to dinner. None brought a dish to dinner. Everyone went away for the weekend. Few went away for the weekend. Everything has been arranged. Jaya told everybody about her party. Nobody could understand the problem. Some can go by air or drive through the mountains. Everyone gathered at the venue to protest. Someone called the police. Nidhi took the form from someone at the counter. So this is this demonstrative pronouns and what is demonstrative it points to things or people okay so whenever we point out something we call it as demonstrative now demonstrative have got singular and plural singular and plural one is this this is singular that is also singular and plural of this is these and plural of that is those children you remember you have learned one rhyme in your kg this is for near and that is for far so whenever we are pointing out anything which is near to us we call it as this and if that thing is little far from us, we call it as that. And if only one thing is lying, we use this. If there are too many things, we call it as these. For example, this mango is yellow in color. And if there are two, three, what we we'll call? These mangoes are ripe. And that is for far. So, if there is a pen lying little far away from me, what I'll call? That pen is mine. Those books are of standard 8th. Okay, so is it clear? This and that. These are used for demonstrative and uh, this is for near and that is for far. Plural of this is these and plural of that is 
those okay so these basic things if it is clear then it would be very easy for you to do the exercise which we are going to do it the word this that these and those are called demonstrative pronouns when they refer or point to nouns the diagram she made is exactly like that in the book so here it is demonstrative pronoun when we use the words this that these and those before nouns you know the basic definition of adjective if it is used this uh, before a noun or describing a noun we call it as an adjective they are called demonstrative adjective this room is locked so demonstrative which points out an object or thing can be used for both pronoun as well as for adjective other uses of demonstrative pronoun it introduces people hello this is peter for a conversation we say like that j this is my friend anna to talk about something in the past that hamburger was delicious so for such things we may use demonstrative pronoun now demonstrative adjective for example these flowers those flowers it is describing the noun flower now demonstrative adjective this that these and those children it is same for pronoun as well as adjective only thing is you have to see the usage of it is it used in place of a noun then it is pronoun if it is describing a noun then we call it as an adjective demonstrative adjective singular this pen is red these pens are blue plural demonstrative adjective is always used along with noun now let's do the last exercise of this chapter exercise 9 filling the blanks with the correct words from the brackets then write whether the words you choose are used as demonstrative pronouns or demonstrative adjectives so you have to fill in the blank as well as you have to mention whether it's an adjective or a pronoun these cars are imported from germany and this is these is demonstrative adjective because it is describing the noun car second one whose woods are these i think i know now these is demonstrative adjective is that ramu's cousin that is demonstrative adjective i will pre uh, prefer those flowers on that table to this in your hand so here those flowers is demonstrative adjective that table is demonstrative adjective and this is demonstrative pronoun so children just write on top of it all these things demonstrative and all fifth one why am i not able to connect this cable to that blue one so here this cable and that blue is demonstrative adjective may i borrow this ladder please and this is demonstrative adjective these dogs are not sunils so this is demonstrative adjective is this your final decision and this here is demonstrative pronoun ninth one those are the tallest trees in our garden and those is demonstrative pronoun what is the difference between these fish and those which live in fresh water so these fish it's very clear describing the noun fish so it is demonstrative adjective and those is demonstrative so children homework for today's session is you will be writing exercise 8 and 9 since they are blanks you can do it in textbook itself is it clear children okay thank you and may god bless you bye